and I let these people abuse me because I was afraid to to be on my own you know and a lot of us I think are in that same situation right now as I speak so I want to ask you guys this question do you recognize the value of yourself I did not know what to do with myself I feel like I have to be leaning on someone for comfort is not all the time you got you have to say yes yes because you want to please everyone you won't able to please everyone and stop being in a relationship that don't make sense stop having friendship that these friends don't have they don't respect you they don't value you they're just being around you to gain something from you you don't need those type of friends because I do have I used to have those type of friends so what do you want to stop talk to me as a friend go right ahead because you're not taking off any weight off me oh my gosh even though I would love to take off some weight right now because I'm getting so fat because I'm not gonna be your stepping stone whether in a relationship or whether with friendship or you know you have family members I'm not gonna do it <laughs>
are in that same situation right now as I speak. So I want to ask you guys this question. Do you recognize the value of yourself? Do you actually know the value? You know, how you want to be treated, how you should be treated, or how is it that you're treating someone that you love, or I'm not talking about relationship, but it, it can be a close friend, it can be a family member, it can be, you know, someone that you care for. Now, how do you really value yourself? How? And how do you recognize, value. you know, to value yourself? Because I have been through ups and downs in my life, you know, as you guys know, you know, the journey of life journey, life journey is not straight. It's, it is not a straight road. You know what I mean? But how do you really recognize it? Do you know your self-worth? Are you worthy enough to speak it, to, to let people know that you were this? So therefore, you're not going to settle for this. Do you actually know it? Do you actually feel it? Do you actually love yourself to stand up for yourself and tell somebody that I am not going to sit here and allow you to treat me like I am nothing? Because every single one of us have values. Every single one of us have values. But sometimes we don't know it. As I said before, I experienced that years ago. When I just came to Canada, I was vulnerable. I did not know what to do with myself. I feel like I have to be leaning on someone for comfort. I didn't even know I could do that because I was afraid to be alone. So I didn't even know the value of myself and what, how, you know, how I feel and what is the best thing for me to do. And a lot of people may say that, you know, their situation is different, but your situation, yes, it is different, but the value of yourself is not different because you have to understand who you are and you have to respect that. And people around you have to respect that also. In other words, if you cannot respect yourself enough, how can you stand up and tell people that you're not gonna treat me this way? I am not going to be in a relationship because you want to treat me a certain way. I'm not going to be in a relationship be, and take this, you know, the abusive relationship, the relationship that not stable. You stay in a relationship because you, out of fear, I have done that. I have stayed in relationship, past relationship because I was scared. Honestly, honestly to God, I was scared to even to even get out of that relationship because I felt that I could not deal with with myself being alone and taking care of myself because of I didn't know the my self-worth. I didn't know I couldn't even recognize the value of myself. So I allow people to treat me to the way to treat me any sort of way. I accepted that. And it is not good, guys. I am telling you, it is not good. Because sometimes, most of the time, fear, fear of being alone can cripple you. The fear of starting over can cripple you. The fear of being by yourself can cripple you. But you have to recognize the value of yourself. And when you do recognize that, I guarantee you that being alone won't be a problem. Being alone, you will be so happy because you value yourself. You stand up for yourself. You recognize who you are. You recognize the value you of self-worth trust me in that I have as I said before I have been in a relationship because I was I was a scared I was scared to 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 be alone I was scared 
to 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 start back over and i and i and 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 i realized something about myself that i am strong i am beautiful i have a good heart you know what i mean i i am just only this one person why do i allow people to treat me a certain way and i accepted that and i asked myself that several times several times repeated 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 in my head and then when i realize actually when i recognize my self value that was like 5 years i think that was like 5 years ago or 6 years ago i went to new york and i was in new york with two other person and the way how they were treating me and in my mind you know i'm saying to myself it's okay it's okay it's not a problem i can deal with it and then one morning i wake up the following morning i wake up and the same thing start to happen you know the way how the person treated me like i was not there and they have to do this and you cannot come because if you come they don't want nobody to see you they don't want nobody to see them with me and that day i said to myself i'm not going to do this i worked more. you know that day i said to myself you know what it is time for me to stand up and rise up and let this person know you know what i take your bullshit no more and i did i did that i call my friend and i said to my friend can you come and pick me up and she said where are you i said i'm in new york long island and she said no problem and she came and picked me up and that day that was it that day i found my worth i recognized that i deserve more and i stood up for that and until until that day i realized something that i didn't even know that i have that within me i stand up i was not alone in this i was never alone I thought I was alone but I was never alone. Somebody was there trying to protect me and 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 trying to let me understand who I am and recognize that I have self I should know my self value. I should know the word. You know what I mean? Cuz I thought I was alone. And that day when I step off the plane I took a taxi home and I was so happy I was so so happy because I stand up and rise up and I said to myself you know what I'm not gonna take this bullshit anymore this is it and the moment I did that everything just started to 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 take place everything just start to gather in places and i'm like wow 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 i didn't know i could do this i didn't know i could do this i didn't know i could do this and then my smile started to shine again i started to shine again my face looked different you know what i mean there's there's this happy smile on my face every morning i wake up because i stand up for myself i recognize my self value and i said to myself repeatedly 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 repeat i repeat this in my head consistently i will not allow another human a human being to treat me like i'm nothing because i am something i may not be a lawyer i may not be a nurse i may not be a teacher but i have values that people need you know and if i love the right person that person would recognize my values that person would recognize who i am that person would actually love me for me because they honestly and truly love me for me 
So there was no need for me to, to, to take shit from other people, sorry if I use the word shit, to take um, these abusive, you know, action and behavior from people because, you know, I take it because I did not recognize who I was. I thought I couldn't do it on my own. I thought I was alone, but I was never alone. And this is what fear does to you. The fear of being alone can cripple you. The fear of not the fear of not loving yourself stifle who you are. When I said stifle, you you, you wake up every morning and you, you you don't even you're not grateful for even waking up because th this thing in you is stifling you and you, you you cannot get it out because you do not recognize it. But the moment you start to recognize the value of oneself, yourself, you would realize the potential you have to strive and to be the best version of yourself. I am telling you this because I experience it. You know what I mean? And a lot of time we emphasize too much on other what other people say about us we dwell too much on what other people think of us we dwell too much of what people will say if you do this or if you don't but get it but guess what you do good they're gonna talk about you you do bad they're gonna talk about you People are going to always talk about you. But it's not necessarily mean that you must dwell on the negative thoughts of people because you're not going to gain anything from it. You won't gain anything from it. You don't have to be a professor. You don't have to be a teacher. You don't have to be a lawyer to value yourself. You don't. You have to value yourself. You have to recognize who you are and stand for who you are. Because if you don't do that, people will take disadvantage of you and you become their puppet. You get what I'm saying? You become their puppet. And once you do that, you're destroying your own life. Because the unknown <coughs> is the unknown. You will never know what tomorrow bring brings sorry but if you take that first step and stand up and rise above all of that and don't think about what people doing or saying about you think about you stand up for you stand up for yourself recognize who you are and i'm telling you this you will become the best version of yourself you would love yourself. You would see the beauty in you. And you can apply that to everyone who surround you. You know what I mean? Because, you know, walking in somebody's shoes, it won't fit you. So you won't even able to walk their journey. You have to walk in your own shoes. You have to be the driver of your life. You have to know when to break the ice. You have to know when to say no. It's not all the time you got, you have to say yes, yes, because you want to please everyone. You won't able to please everyone. I have worked in an industry where I have to deal with people. And as much as good, as much as how good I do my job, people complain. Get what I'm saying? People complain still. So therefore, I cannot please everyone. I only can do my best to the best of my ability. And in order for me to do that, I have to search deep in my soul and find and me. recognize my value so that I can apply that at work. I can apply that to my co-worker. I can apply that to my boss. I can apply that to my stepdaughters. You know what I mean? You have to recognize who you are and stop worrying about what people do or say or think. And I remember, 
and I um, I remember one time somebody said to me how how do you after after I end that relationship and just start doing things on my own and I'm so happy and I remember one day somebody inbox me inbox me and and and, and message me sorry and say you're always happy you know what is your secret my secret for my happiness is to love myself is to recognize that I worth more than what people think of you know what I mean or what how people want to want to style me as as what we Jamaicans will say you know you you are what people want to talk about me I I I do not dwell on that because I cannot gain anything from what people gonna talk about me because people gonna always talk about me good or bad they may even watch this video and talk and said oh I'm talking bullshit there you go but I know I'm not talking bullshit this is the truth if you do not recognize the value of oneself how can you value yourself or other people around you how can you love yourself you cannot stay in a relationship based on based on be, you're comfortable because sometimes we're comfortable in a relationship but it doesn't mean it doesn't mean it does not mean that you're truly happy you may feel like you're happy and you may feel like this is it but sometimes it is not it because I have been there. I have been in relationship where I said, oh my God, this is it. I don't want no more relationship. And then down the line, I start to experience different stuff. And I'm like, am I really truly happy? Do you ever look in the mirror and ask yourself when you wake up in the morning, are you truly happy? Am I happy today? I said that to myself this morning. And the answer was, yes, I am. Because I'm married to a beautiful woman who love me for who I am and again if I never step outside of that relationship and stand up and rise I would not met my wife there you go so sometimes not because a person is provided for you or you think that you cannot manage on your own because you know living in a North American country or in the Caribbean it's so hard for oneself to 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 provide for themselves but you can do it you can do it stand up for your dignity stand up for who you are and do not allow other people to step on you you know what I mean do not accept other people because other people they only want us to fail but I am not here to address anyone who is hating on me right now actually I'll tell you that go right ahead you know what I mean but I am happy you can talk all of, all you want about me but I am happy you can say shit about me I am happy you're not taking anything away from me from me for me to say oh my god I can't sleep I can't believe that that Anna really said that oh Kenny is this and Kenny is that no I'm not gonna listen to that because if I do listen to that what's gonna happen what's gonna happen you know what's gonna happen I'm gonna just thinking thinking every day about what this person say and I'm not gonna even to focus on my job because it's gonna affect me so bad no do not allow the negative stuff to affect you as long as you know who you are and what you stand for let me tell you this nobody can take this advantage of you the only way they can unless you allow it like what I did in the past I know I recognize something about life is that you have to love yourself in order for you even to grow in order for you to even to gain to be successful because you can have a good job right but because you don't value yourself because you have low self-esteem right you cannot see a way out you know what I mean you cannot even provide for yourself but you're making good money why because you don't know the value 
of yourself because if you know the value of yourself you was you would write down a lot of stuff that you need and don't need and okay I need this I need that I don't need this I don't need that and you take it from there recognize who you are recognize the value of oneself you know what I mean and stop being in a relationship that don't make sense stop having friendship that these friends don't have they don't respect you they don't value you they're just being around you to gain something from you you don't need those type of friends because i do have i used to have those type not of friends. anymore i dropped them because i realized that right if you have a friend and that friend actually cares about you and something went went wrong or you said something that you don't even realize or remember that you said something and that friend don't pick up the phone and call you and said oh kenny you know what you know i didn't call you because 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 they just stopped talk to you just like that you don't need that person in your life because if that person value you that person would pick up the phone and said you know what kenny we need to talk so that's how you know sometimes when you have when you have people that value you people that value you and love you for who you are they will not just stop talk to you for no reason and even if you don't know the reason they will pick up the phone and actually call just to rectify the problem or resolve the problem you can't have a a a a a friend that who value you and you are the one all the time always calling them always texting them that's not your friend that's, that's not your friend and that is how and that is why it is good to recognize the value of oneself because if you don't recognize these things you're gonna have people from all different direction you know coming at you and you're just gonna accept it and you're going to accept it because you don't know better. You don't know what it's like, you know, to have, to value your self-worth. You have to value that man because there's some, there's some messed up people in this world. They, they just come in your life just to use you and abuse you and, and, and think you're stupid or think that, oh, you know, I'm just going to use Kenny because, you know, she have a good heart. But deep down inside, you know, I don't really value her as, as my friend. And a lot of you guys have friends like that. But why do you have them in your your space you don't need friends like that like the reason why i don't have a lot of friends to be honest because i have been i have been burned burned by a lot of friends you know and i call them the, they're hypocrites i call them hypocrites because they are because if you and i are friends and you love me for me you would accept me for me and you will value me and you will take care of me and you will actually invest in me but no you only want to invest in yourself you you're the only one want to strive you don't want to see kenny strive so you will try to put down kenny in the most way you know what i mean that you can but guess what it's not gonna work because Kenny do not dwell on those things. So whether you want to stop talking to me as a friend, go right ahead. Because you're not taking off any weight off me. Oh my gosh, even though I would love to take off some weight right now because I'm getting so fat. But anyway, you're not taking off anything off me. You know what I mean? You're only, you're only giving me a chance to realize that you were no good in the first place. You're only, you only do something good for me. So when you walk out of my life and think that, oh my gosh, I'm gonna pick up the phone and call you, and I know I didn't do you anything, girl, I'm not picking up that phone and call you. I am sorry, but I'm not picking up the phone and call you because if you value me, you would recognize my worth you would know i am a good person recognize who you are recognize the value of oneself you know what i mean and stop 
being in a relationship that don't make sense. Stop having friendship that these friends don't have, they don't respect you, they don't value you. They're just being around you to gain something from you. You don't need those type of friends because I do have, I used to have those type of friends, but not anymore. I dropped them because I realized that, right? If you have a friend and that friend actually cares about you and something went went wrong or you said something that you don't even realize or remember that you said something and that friend don't pick up the phone and call you and said, oh, Kenny, you know what? You know, I didn't call you because, because, because they just stopped talk to you just like that, you don't need that person in your life. Because if that person value you, that person would pick up the phone and say, you know what, Kenny, we need to talk. So that's how you know sometimes when you have, when you have people that value you, people that value you and love you for who you are, they will not just stop talk to you for no reason. And even if you don't know the reason, they will pick up the phone and actually call just to rectify the problem or resolve the problem you can't have a a a a a friend that who value you and you are the one all the time always calling them always texting them that's not your friend that's that's not your friend and that is how and that is why it is good to recognize the value of oneself because if you don't recognize these things, you're going to have people from all different direction, you know, coming at you and you're just going to accept it. And you're going to accept it because you don't know better. You don't know what it's like, you know, to have to value your self-worth. You have to value that man because there's some there's some messed up people in this world. They they just come in your life just to use you and abuse you and, and, and think you're stupid or think that, oh, you know, I'm just gonna use Kenny because, you know, she have a good heart. But deep down inside, you know, I don't really value her as, as my friend. And a lot of you guys have friends like that. But why do you have them in your your space you don't need friends like that like for me the reason why i don't have a lot of friends to be honest because i have been i have been burned burned by a lot of friends you know and i call them the, they're hypocrites i call them hypocrites because they are because if you and i are friends and you love me for me you would accept me for me and you will value me and you will take care of me and you will actually invest in me but no you only want to invest in yourself you you're the only one want to strive you don't want to see kenny strive so you will try to put down kenny in the most way you know what i mean that you can but guess what it's not gonna work because Kenny do not dwell on those things. So whether you want to stop talking to me as a friend, go right ahead. Because you're not taking off any weight off me. Oh my gosh, even though I would love to take off some weight right now because I'm getting so fat. But anyway, you're not taking off anything off me. You know what I mean? You're only, you're only giving me a chance to realize that you were no good in the first place. You're only, you only do something good for me. So when you walk out of my life and think that, oh my gosh, I'm gonna pick up the phone and call you, and I know I didn't do you anything, girl, I'm not picking up that phone and call you. I am sorry, but I'm not picking up the phone and call you because if you value me, you would recognize my worth you would know I am a good person. And if you, you would respect me and without respect, that's the reason why you don't call me because you don't respect me. So here is the thing, right? People like that, I don't need in my life. Look at me, I am not a professor. I'm not a doctor, I'm not a teacher, but I recognize my self-worth. I know who I am. You know what I mean? Since I came to Canada, I can tell you this. 
I have never, never, never knock on any one door for help. Not even the government. I did it all on my own. A lot of people don't know this. I did it all on my own. And I struggle, yes. But I didn't struggle in a bad way. I struggle in a good way. But at that time, I didn't recognize my self-worth. So I allow people to abuse me. I allow people to step on me. I allow, I allow people to walk on me because I was too vulnerable. You know what I mean? I was, I, I was too needy to think that I need people, but I didn't. I didn't need, I didn't need anyone. Actually, I only need myself and God. You know what I mean? But you know, and, and that's why I said I was never alone. You know what I mean? Sometimes I just talk to God, you know, I would just in my room and talk to God. But since I came to this country and I, since I came to Canada, I heard a lot of people talk shit about me. A lot of people that I didn't even have a drink with. I never even had, a, I never even be around a table and having a cup of coffee with them. And they talk so much shit about me, so much shit. And they put me down to the most, they put me down. They drag my name to the pit and I still rise. They talk a lot about Kenny. And I don't know these people. I see these people from afar. And people sometimes ask me why I don't talk to them. They ask me why? Why I don't talk to them? Because you're not real. You're, an, you're a hypocrite. You are too hypocritical. I don't wanna be around you. So I stay by myself because I love me and I'm not going to sit around your table and eat and drink with you when I know I do I despise you. No, I am not going to do that. But several people do that to me and I laugh and I smile to myself and I said one day, one day you guys would realize that Kenny have values. And one day you're gonna to wanna to pick up the phone and call me, but I won't be there anymore because I'm not gonna be your stepping stone. I'm not gonna be there for someone who do not value me, whether in a relationship or whether with friendship or you know you have family members, I'm not gonna do it. So if you just only wanna come in my life just for, just for the benefit of your sake, too bad. Accept that. I'm not gonna deal with that. So at the end of the day, you, you, you I'm talking to, should know the value of yourself to recognize who you are so that you can become the best version of yourself. And when I say that, I don't mean you have to do things what other people do. Stop talking about what other people doing or saying about you. Who cares? People talking about you can't pay your bills, can't pay your mortgage. It can't even take you to the supermarket. It can't even buy you a loaf of bread. So why is it important? Somebody tell me, why is it important? It is not important. So take away all of those people that don't mean you any good. Put them in the, put them in the bin. That's why I always say you put people in the garbage bin that do not respect you that do not value you as a as a partner as a friend put those people in the bin because you don't need them i i i, I kid you not you don't and as soon as you recognize recognize it it's a better for you and i made this video on my own because all the you know i was reading dr abc andrew campbell you know, I talk about that book and it makes me so, I feel so powerful. I feel like I could just, just do whatever, ju just do things because it is so empowering. It, it, it is so uplifting. That book just, just, it, it just uplifts my spirit. You know, every morning I look at that book and I smile and I read, I, 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 I read a lot of books, but this book, I, there's something about this book that I'm attached to. And you know, I have never ever, um, um, like, I have never ever like, like, like go out with this person. I only see Android parties and stuff. You know, I never like have a cup of coffee with him and talk about life. But in his book, 
you know, I have found some truth about even myself. And I just love this book. And you know, it's a spoonful of journey and um, it's a good book. And, and that's why I'm telling you guys, you know what? Recognize who you are. Please do. You know what I mean? And I write this down and I said, you know what? Self-approval. Here it is. Self-approval comes out of self-acceptance. Which rise out of the recognition that we are in fact enough. You hear that? Just as we are. With that recognition, we can free ourselves from fear. Our full humanity in the recognition that we are essential nature is all we need to be fully us. I don't know if I read this good. I read it down just now. I don't know, but I it's it, it's good. And the the part that I love about it is that self approval comes with self acceptance. And I'm gonna leave you with that. Self approval comes with self acceptance. Okay, you don't need somebody to validate who you are. You don't need somebody to tell you who you are. As long as you recognize who you are. That's good. Peace out. Love you guys. Peace out. Big up yourself and wait. Can you say that? Big up yourself. You know, born Jamaican. Big up yourself. Bye, guys.